Jared here from Spooled Magazine. When it comes to catching kingfish in Port Phillip Bay, rigging is vital. Because these fish are so strong, you want to be making sure that every single bit of your tackle is definitely top notch. Now there's three main rigs to use. Of course we have live baiting and then just general bait fishing, whether that be with a whole squid or even if it's just a simple strip bait. The main rigs used are very, very simple to, to, to make. It's a good idea to keep things as simple as you possibly can. There's no need to complicate it. Keep it simple all the time. So this is just a standard live bait rig. Of course, I've crimped the end so that I'll, it's super strong. It's a length of 80 pound liter. You can also use 100. And then I've got a mustard heavy duty circle hook and of course a bridle that I tied out of some Dacron. This rig is mainly used when using slimy mackerel, uh, using salmon, uh, any of those fish type species. All you need is a live bait rig. Of course, take the loop in the end of your bridle, pass it through the membrane in front of the nose of the live bait, and then once through, you can just connect it back through the hook. This is a great way to rig live baits to maximize their life in the water. Sometimes you, go, you can go through live baits really quickly if you're pinning them in the back or the shoulders and you wanna maximize their life where possible. So through rigging, bridle rigging through the nose is definitely one way to maximize your bait's life. From there, we have, an, have another example of a similar live bait rig. Of course, rather than using the circle, you can use a mustard hoodlum hook, hoodlum designed for kingfish. These are super strong hooks undoubtedly and you won't have a problem at all hooking kings. Of course with live baiting with this rig I've rigged it much similar to using the bridle except instead of the Dacron I've actually gone with an elastic band. So it's just looped around the hook once again using a bait needle through the membrane of the bait fish and then of course with the elastic band back through and I'd give it a few twists as well and your live bait will sit there comfortably maximizing its life. Now with live bait rigs how do you get the live bait down to the bottom where the kingfish are? Well, that's really simple. When you're rigging your rod on the end of the rod, no doubt you would have a snap swivel. Connected to that snap swivel, you can use, and it's advisable, you use a kingfish sinker. Obviously, this is like a size eight barrel sinker. Of course, there's 200 pound or 300 pound monofilament leader through here, crimped ends, and of course, another heavy duty snap swivel. So with the snap swivel on your rod, you would attach to the end of the kingfish sinker and then your live bait rig simply attaches to the end of the kingfish sinker and there you have it once you sound up kings you free spool this down to the bottom your live bait swing swim them out here and away you go of course the current varies in port phillip heads so you want to make sure that you are using enough weight to get the live bait down to the bottom in that case of course you can opt for two I wouldn't tend to use any more than two, but if you really needed to, you can always go down that path. One thing to remember when using these rigs, when you're landing a kingfish, these can become a potential weapon. Obviously, when you wind up all the way to the top, your kingfish is slapping on the surface. This will be at your rod tip and swinging around. So when you're fishing this technique, always be mindful when you're winding your kingfish up Keep an eye out for these sinkers because the last thing you want to do is cop one of these to the head. Now, the next technique, standard bait fishing. Pretty easy. I've rigged my rig ex exactly the same as the live bait hooks, except using two suicide or octopus suicide hooks snelled together. Again, 80 pound, 100 pound litre minimum, and then the two hooks snelled apart. This rig's really good for fishing with say whole, whole dead calamari or even just a really nice squid strip. It'll keep them perfectly in line and in the current won't spin. That there, again, use, utilizing that kingfish sinker, of course I've crimped the end rather than tying a knot because I know that this is going to be a definitely a stronger connection than any knot. So this here can connect directly to the kingfish sinker and sent straight down to the bottom. To take things one step further, you can always use pre-rigs if you're not confident in tying your own. Mustard's fast hatch rigs are fantastic and make fishing so much more versatile, even when it comes to kingfish. These come in two parts. You buy the main line, and of course, then you buy 
the hooks that you want to use. Varying sizes, of course, and of course these rigs come in varying lengths. This one here is your typical Paternoster rig. Of course, once you unwind it, you'll notice we have a swivel at the top. You can connect directly to your snap swivel on your rod. A length of 80 pound litre down to a join and then down to another join. And both of those have fast hatch clips on them. So does the bottom one. So it's easy if you need to change sinker weight, you can just clip it on and your sinker's there. As the tide backs off, you can just clip it off and of course attach a sinker of the weight that you require. The same thing happens with the hooks. Once you get the desired hook sizes you want, these ones, of course, a circle hook. You take your where your dropper is and of course attach the loop directly onto the fast hatch clip and on it goes. So again, you can fish a Paternoster rig with a whole squid or just with a squid strip or anything like that. But these rigs, when it comes to kingfish, cover every basis. That's all you need. They're nice and simple.